Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, Jay from JS Films, and we're back in Unreal Engine 5.1 Matrix demo. Now, a couple of days ago, I made a video about this, pretty much try to show y'all the new high quality translucency reflections, and I kept crashing. But, as you can see, I solved the problem, I was able to package it up, but we did get rid of all of the traffic, all the cars, because that's what was crashing it. He just couldn't handle it. There's just way too many. Uh, cars, I guess, in the whole city. Uh, anyways, we are here now. Let's check out the settings real quick before we get started. We are running this at 4K and we have high quality. So, high quality translucency is not enabled yet because, like I said in the previous video, you're going to need to run cinematic for that. So, let's go ahead and walk around real quick so you can see the RTX 4090 is doing a pretty darn good job as far as keeping up with the frames per second here. I went ahead and added a couple of, uh, you know, just gameplay stuff, kind of showcasing really the future of gaming here. But at the same time, Lumen for cinematics as well. So we have Lumen and we have Nanite. So we're just going to walk around here, play around with it a little bit. So as you can see right here, the reflection doesn't really look that good. It looks kind of, like, it, it looks like what it looked like before, so... That's the before. And again, I'm gonna spray and pray all this deep on me. Too easy. I'll run away from that. I'm gonna run away from him for now. But I didn't get rid of all the cars completely. As you can see, I left kind of these, this parking lot area right here so we can still see the reflections in the car because they're going to look incredible here. I'm going to turn it on in a second. Yeah. In high settings, it's running pretty well. Sneak attack. Yeah. With all that gear and weapon, we were still able to do a sneak attack. That's what's up. Alright, so let's go turn this up now to epic. Let's turn the heat up a little bit. Alright, so here we go with epic. The flickers kind of went away from the reflections. And again, this is running smoothly because we don't have any traffic in here. But this this uh, city sample is still massive. Don't, don't get it twisted. It's still a pretty darn big map. Whoa, he's not getting taking damage for some reason. Oh god, that was a bad grenade. Oh, I shot him right in the face with that grenade. That was funny. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the final test. Turn it up all the way to cinematic. So take a look at this car right here. And this is going to be the future of gaming, folks. High quality translucency reflections. I mean, look at that. I can actually see the bridge from up there. Looks incredible. This is running 4K. You can see my GPU is running at 99% usage. But look at this just reflection. And yes, somebody asked me earlier if you can see yourself in the reflection. Yeah, you can see yourself. And <laughs> And that was really the obvious choice was for me to turn off the cars because by default the city sample runs with 3500 cars by default. That's what the traffic was. And so you can see here, this looks incredible man. Just the reflections. 
you've taken a look, really just a short glimpse of what gaming is going to look like. Look at those reflections. I mean, that's actually a perfect example now. I'm going to turn it off. Let's try Epic, see what that looks like. Mush. Straight mush. Ultra. Yeah. That's... That's huge. So let's go ahead and fly around a little bit. So you can kind of see the entire city. It's like city in COVID. There's nobody here. Man, these reflections are looking really good. With Nanite and Lumen, man. For cinematics, Lumen is starting to look really good. In the short amount of time, they were able to, like, kill it. And I'm kind of showing you all these cars because I didn't get rid of a lot of the cars, just the moving cars. We still have quite a bit of cars in here. Wow. And I kind of love it because it's kind of the benchmark now with Unreal is the city sample demo. So freaking good. I can, I can fly around this city all day. This is so fun. And you're going to notice also that the flickering in the shadows and the reflections pretty much went away. I don't remember if, I don't know if y'all saw the Matrix demo before 5.1, but it did not look like this whatsoever. It is pretty incredible. I mean, let me know in the comments below if you think that's incredible, man. It's real-time reflections, global illumination. It's insane, man. It's insane. Yeah, that's still a lot of cars. <laughs> that is so pretty, man. If I had, like, a team, I would make something in this city, because this is like a free environment just sitting in the marketplace for free. It looks like we're getting about 70 degrees Celsius in my GPU, so it's starting... It's starting to get hot. But we're going to run it here. I'll take a look at it. It's doing pretty good. The cables in there pretty tight, so. Let's get higher. I haven't seen this card go past 75. Massive, massive map. Now 50 frames per second. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the city sample demo with high quality translucency reflection. Ooh, look at that. You can actually see me flying. 
How dope is that? Look at this. So crispy. This is definitely playable. Okay. Uh, with that being said, if you haven't done so, go check out my course that I released recently. It's how to make a movie with Unreal Engine 5.1. It's pretty dope. The price is super low. Check it out in the comments below and in the description below. It's going to be on an art station. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. It's pretty intense. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and, you know, grab it and purchase that course. It's pretty cool. It's getting good reviews so far. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.